I long to be, a magical trip report podcast. My name is Virginia, and I am your host. Today, you will hear my conversation with Megan, the owner of Park Aesthetic Company. She produces creative temporary tattoos for use in the Disney parks. If you have an upcoming trip and plan to do any sipping or snacking around the world, you'll want to check her out on Instagram. There, she's at Park Aesthetic Co., or head over to Etsy, and if you use the link in the show notes or code VIRGINIA10, you'll get a discount that she was kind enough to share with my podcast listeners. If you have a trip coming up in June or beyond, and you'd like to be a trip report guest, I'd love to hear from you. You can find out how in the show notes, and if your trip will be during Food and Wine Festival, you may want to see about getting your temporary tattoos to take your festival to the next level. Here's Megan. Welcome to Megan from Park Aesthetic Co. How are you doing today? And thank you so much for joining me. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Well, I'm excited to hear a little bit more about who you are. I've been following your work on Instagram, but can you describe for the listeners what Park Aesthetic Co. is, how you came into that sort of creator space, and how did you become such a big Disney fan? Well, that starts back from day one. My family is very, very big into Disney. So I just kind of grew up with it and it was accustomed to our to our family norm. But uh, the, our company, Park Aesthetic Company, uh, we, are, we focus on temporary tattoos for, originally it was just Epcot with the drinking around and snacking around the world aspect. Mm-hmm. Um, but now we're branching out and we just launched our first tattoo for Disneyland California Adventure for their food and wine festival. Mm-hmm. Um, but our company was created um, back when, back in 2021, uh, my sister and my brother-in-law actually came up with the idea. And we went to a lot of festivals growing up. We're starting with the Food and Wine Festival, um, Festival of the Arts. We've been to all of them and we love the passports, but then the passports went away. So they're just the idea was, what can we do to make it creative and bring that aspect back? Um, so... My sister is very talented and very artistically gifted, mm-hmm. and they created the the idea of the Park Aesthetic Company with the temporary tattoos, mm-hmm. and we just went from there. And now, um, now that I'm taking over, I'm branching out, and we're reaching out to Disneyland. We're also working on a ride tattoo right now, which will launch in a few weeks, and it'll be for Magic Kingdom as well as Disneyland. And then we'll mm-hmm. see how those go if we want to branch out even further. Um, but our our love for Disney, again, like I was saying before, started when I was born and I was actually counting all of my times that I've been to Disney. Mm-hmm. And this will be, let me double check. This will be my 21st time if you include uh, a time that I went in Disneyland. It was when COVID happened, so all the parks were closed mm-hmm. and they had um, just a festival going on where we went. Um, so the park wasn't even like the rides, the attractions weren't happening, but they just had mm-hmm. food. So mm-hmm. just to go and be in the park. So if you consider that a trip as well, this will be my 21st time. Uh, but the love came from my grandma. She was a huge Disney advocate. And all I can remember, all of my childhood memories are her talking about Disney, her having all of her Disney travel books and just mm-hmm. going on all of her family vacations together. Wow. So when you would go on your family vacations, was it just uh, your immediate family or was it also aunts, uncles, like extended family? Uh, Originally, it was just my family. So I have a sister, my parents, uh, and then my Mm -hmm. grandparents. So that was like our immediate. But we have gone with my aunts and uncles and my cousin. And Mm -hmm. that was like the core. So it's my mom's side of the family that would always go on these trips. And we have one aunt and uncle, so she only has one sibling. So it was a pretty intimate trip, but we would always go. And we even went for my grandma's 85th birthday. That's where she wanted to go. So she mm-hmm. paid for us all to go to Disney and stayed at her favorite place was the beach club. I can't afford that on my own, but if she's going to pay for it, of course, sign me up. <laughs> and <laughs> it was so much fun. But we, my family, like I said, just the four of us, so we would always go, but my grandparents would come sometimes. Um, and we're actually going in December with my family now that I have kids and my aunt and uncle and my, um, I don't know what you would call her, but she's my cousin's daughter. So a cousin, a second cousin or a cousin once removed. I'm, I'm always so Yeah. 
first cousin once removed. I used to get so confused about this. And I was like, I'm going to figure this system out. I'm going to look it up. And I Googled it. And now like there's this really helpful chart. I'll have to send it to you that helps you visualize like what it is. And because it's your cousin and you're both on the same level, it's first cousin. And then down one generation is the once removed part. Uh, yeah. It's, it's easier when you mm-hmm. see it visually, I think. Um, so I have a question about the, the temporary tattoos. So when people are ordering those, like if they want to prepare for a trip, how early do they need to order in order to ensure that they have the tattoos before their trip? That's a great question. Uh, so we send our tattoos with just first class mail. Um, so they mm-hmm. typically arrive anywhere from two to two to five days. Uh, we have, I'm learning that with holidays and with inclement weather, sometimes that delays the process, but I've had orders that get there the next day. I have orders that get there three days later, uh, but generally mm-hmm. not more than five days. So if you give yourself at a minimum a week, mm-hmm. but I would say pr- give yourself a little wiggle room just in case, uh, mm-hmm. since I do live on the East coast. So we're, we're in Maryland and we do have some winter and snowstorms. So <laughs> that does happen. Um, but yeah. you could order, also order uh, with priority shipment, and some people do that. Uh, mm-hmm. So it just, again, depends on how much, how far in advance you do prepare for your trip. Uh, but it's been going pretty well, and I'm, I'm now best friends with the people at the post office, so I'm sure they would do me favors if I need it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, you got to have friends at the post office. It, when when somebody's using the, the tattoos, typically how long would they last? Like, can you go in a pool with them? Yeah. So I've personally, I have not gone into a pool, but they can last anywhere from uh, two to three days. Um, Mm -hmm. So even, even when, if they get wet, they still, they still manage to stay on. It's just, once you start Mm -hmm. scrubbing it off, um, that's when, that's when they're, they're coming off. And sometimes uh, we've had some buyers saying that you get that sticky residue as you do with any temporary tattoo, but Mm -hmm. um, just, we always, put in our listing and we remind them to use um, any sort of rubbing alcohol or baby, baby oil. I like to use that. Um, but it doesn't always happen. It's just, I think if, the longer you keep it on, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> you might get that little residue, but it really, it's not, not bad at all. <laughs> My daughter at home, she actually loves when I make videos and she's like, can I have a turn? Can I put one on now? <laughs> so it's, it's cute, but she enjoys it as well. How old are your kids? Uh, so my daughter it will be three in April, and my mm-hmm. son will be one in March. So, wow. wow. Keeping me busy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's got to be busy. I just went on a trip with my sister and her family, and we had two three-year-olds, nephews, with me. And that's a that's a different kind of trip, <laughs> I will say. <laughs> After, you know, my son is now 13 going on 14 and it's, Mm -hmm. it's just such a different thing to go with such young kids. Um, So tell me a little bit about who's going on this particular trip with you. Yep. So in March, I I can't, I guess I'm saying in March, even though that's this week, I really can't believe that, but it'll just be my husband and I, and it'll be a great little vacation, I guess you could call it time away. It's our first weekend away from the kids. Uh, where we have been away more than, for me, more than 24 hours. Uh, my mm-hmm. husband's active duty military, so we he often has to travel. Um, but this is the first time where both of us will be away from the mm-hmm. kids for that time. But it's, it'll be a joint business trip as well as a little vacation. Um, mm-hmm. We never went on a honeymoon, again, due to the military. And my husband deploying, so it'll be a little, a little fake honeymoon going around all the countries since we're staying in mm-hmm. Epcot the whole day. Uh, but business is the plan, and my husband knows that I'll be taking thousands of photos, and he can't get upset with me, and he, he's up for the challenge, and we're both just both really excited. Is he um, any part of the business as well? Like, does he even have any time with his active military service to be part of the everyday <laughs> aspect of Park Aesthetico? Uh, he oh, he always offers to help uh, with cutting the tattoos and packaging the ca- tattoos, but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I like to do all that myself. But um, what he a really big support that he does is he allows me to go to the post office without bringing the kids so I can travel on my <laughs> own. Um, but if I need anything, he's always there to support me. He always gets up very early. He's a very early early bird. Um, so if there's mm-hmm. anything that needs to get done in the morning, he often offers to do that. But I would say mm-hmm. as of now, more of the support position. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, for this this trip, I imagine it is because it's going to be flower and garden 
and that is what you are probably mm-hmm. trying to promote with with the temporary tattoos for that particular festival. So I have to ask, what is your favorite festival? If you had to pick one. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it's very difficult. Originally, I would say the Food and Wine Festival, but I, I do, I think I am now leaning towards the Flower and Garden. Uh, we went for mm-hmm. my sister's bachelorette in May. I believe it was May we went. It was very hot, but I just love mm-hmm. all the topiaries. It's just such a beautiful time. Um, and you just can't top the the ambiance from the Flower and Garden Festival. And I'm very excited this trip for the new topiaries. We're big Guardians of the Galaxy fans, so can't mm-hmm. wait to see Groot. I think that's one of my husband's favorite characters, actually. Um, and my daughter is obsessed with Encanto. So I can't wait to bring home pictures for her of all the Mirabelle and Luisa um, topiaries. So it'll be fun. I have been saying lately that Festival of the Arts is my favorite and Florin Garden is a close second. But I don't know. They're kind of tied. I have no idea, really. <laughs> I mean, they're both so good. And I think the food at uh, Flower and Garden is always really good. I always like that yeah. booth that's the honey sort of based booth. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what it's called. but Okay. So tell me about your trip dates. Uh, yeah. So we fly down on f- Thursday, uh, February 29th. And we will go to the park on Friday. So we're only going to Epcot. We're doing a one day, one day pass. Um, and we're going to get there. The park opens and we're going to leave when the park closes. And we're going to spend the whole day just photographing, taking everything in. Um, and as we mentioned before, I will be advertising the Flower and Garden tattoo. Uh, but we also just launched our specific uh, bachelorette, the Bachelor Around the World tattoo. So all of our designs oh. can be used for bachelorettes. But we have a specific one that says Batch Around the World with little um, little crown designs next to each country. And then we also have a bride tattoo to go along with that. So since it's a brand new launch, I also need footage of that as well. Um, mm-hmm. We are meeting a few friends down there as well. So hopefully we'll be able to get some good quality photos and videos with that. Uh, and mm-hmm. I'm just excited to see, now that the festival is happening, I'm very excited to see our buyers using the tattoos. Right now, the Flower and Garden is our top seller. And we have had lots of people write, reach out saying that they're going to tag us in their videos or pictures or whatever they might take. So I'm just very excited mm-hmm. to see the art come to life. And it'll be great if we actually see someone in the park using our tattoos. That'd be, that'd be mm-hmm. a lot of fun. Oh, that would be so cool. So what time on Thursday are you envisioning arriving at your resort? Ironically enough, this time we are not staying at a Disney resort. And the reason why we're doing that is because it's such a quick trip. Uh, Mm -hmm. My husband, his parents actually live in Florida, so we will be able to see them as well. They live 40 minutes away in Leesburg, Florida, so we're going to stay with them. But typically, (laughs) we're always the resort people. And I always tell my husband, I can't go to Disney without a resort. However, Mm -hmm. here I am going to Disney without a resort. (laughs) I mean, yeah, to go to Disney without a resort is better than not going to Disney. So, (laughs) right? Right, exactly. (laughs) Okay, what time are you going to arrive at MCO? Uh, We will arrive at 7 uh, p.m. Do you know if you'll be flying into the new terminal? And have you done that yet into Terminal C? So I have not. I was actually just talking to my sister about that. She thinks we might be because we're flying Frontier uh, straight from Baltimore. But I, I have not flown into the new one. Um, We were actually talking about it because we were just stationed overseas. So I actually am back at the States. Uh, It's only been a few months we've been back here. So I'm only used to traveling in Europe. So I'm in this, even though I've, you know, born and raised in America, the last two years I've been living in Europe. So it's, I only have this like mindset of, okay, what we need to prepare for, what do we need to pack and how we travel in those airports. And it was an amazing experience. So now I'm like, oh, okay, now we're going back to where we're from. Do we remember how to travel through Orlando? We know it's a huge airport, uh, but it'll be fun. Okay, I'm looking it up. And I don't think it's Terminal C, actually. I it's think not. you're going to okay. probably be in B. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully, you'll get to Terminal C eventually. It's beautiful. Um, okay, so arriving at 7 p.m., um, and how will you get from the airport to Leesburg? My in-laws are going to pick us up. So we also okay. are very, very appreciative of that. <laughs> yes, that will be very helpful. So how are you going to get from Leesburg to Epcot then? Are they driving you there as well? Uh, we are going to borrow one of their cars. Um, we okay. are trying to convince my mother-in-law to come with us to the park, but 
sometimes she has to babysit our nephew. So we, we don't know for sure, but we're hoping, fingers crossed, that she'll be able to come too. Mm-hmm. If she does come, would she be up for being there, park open to park close? <laughs> we keep we keep warning her. My, I think my husband is more, more uh, worried about <laughs> how she'll handle the whole full day experience. Uh, but I think I think she's a trooper, so I think she'll be able to handle it. She might have to sit down and maybe listen to some of the concerts and you know mm-hmm. take a little break here and there. But I think she would enjoy the the vacation aspect of it though and being with us. We don't get to see her often. Um, being mm-hmm. that we do move around a lot and we're on the East Coast. Well, sorry, we, well, we're both on the East Coast, but we're North and she's Southeast. So we don't mm-hmm. see her as often as we'd like. Yeah. Since this is primarily, I would say, a business trip because you have so many photos planned and videos, mm-hmm. um, are, do you anticipate that you will get on any rides while you're there? So right now I'm only planning on just one. So we okay. are going to try to, <laughs> at seven o'clock, um, to sign up for for cosmic we've never done that i i haven't been to disney world since 2019 i believe it was mm-hmm. so again with us being stationed overseas we we had the luxury of going to disneyland paris we took my daughter there for her first birthday um but we've and then before that we lived in san diego so we were on the west coast and i never mm-hmm. thought i would actually make it to disneyland since i've always been an east coast girl born and raised in new jersey we mm-hmm. always go to disney world so we went. To, I've been able to experience that, but now that we're back home, um, mm-hmm. I, it, it's like funny. I feel like a foreigner to Disney World, even though that's that's my bread and butter. But it's just been so long since I've been there. So we are going to go on the one ride, um, and we'll see what the day comes. I don't think we'll have enough energy to go on more or the time, uh, but mm-hmm. we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you see a, a very short wait time or something like that, maybe. Maybe you'll do that. Where in New Jersey are you originally from? So I was born in Ridgewood, um, Mm -hmm. up in northern Jersey, but I grew up my whole life in Plainsboro. So it's kind of central Jersey uh, near Princeton. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, my husband is a Jersey boy. He grew up in Whippany that's right Ah. outside of Morristown. So that we get there quite frequently because that's where my in-laws are still Still living. I feel like once you're once you get from Jersey, never leave. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. He's. Uh, I mean, he he spent his whole growing up in Jersey, wanting to be in the city, and so, you know, he lives here in the city. But I'm like, you know, you're a Jersey boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so in terms of the festival, do you have any? Uh, I, I know that you're going to try to get a lot of photos in front of the booths, but are there any booths or or anything like that in particular that you're looking forward to um, to trying while you're there? I'm looking forward to the whole experience. Uh, we will stop at every every stand, and mm-hmm. hopefully our stomachs can handle all the food and beverages that we're going to be mm-hmm. uh, trying. But I'm I'm very excited to sample all the different food selection at Mexico and in Norway. Those are my two favorite countries, mm-hmm. and I just always love the food there. Um, but honestly, I could say the same for all the different stands. Uh, I remember a few years ago when I went to um, the Food and Wine Festival, there was a stand right outside, like when you enter the World Showcase and you go to the right. Mm-hmm. It was just a, a stand there, and they had some sort of like steak with chimichurri sauce, and it was just... To, uh, mm. It was delicious, so it's it's always fun to see what what they have in store and all the the new foods and the mm-hmm. the new flavors. So I'm just excited to be able to go back and go to the festival again um, in such mm-hmm. short notice, really, because we we booked our trip kind of very last minute. But uh, we're just very excited for the opportunity. And my husband, he just he loves anything, so he'll be happy eating and mm-hmm. <laughs> drinking anything. <laughs> Um, what kind of weather are you expecting? Have you looked yet? I have looked, and a few days ago it said a 30% chance of rain, but now it's back to being just cloudy and 78. So that's a big change from where I am. Um, but I know Florida weather obviously changes spur of the moment, but at the last yeah. I checked it did say cloudy um, and 78 mm-hmm. during the day. Mm-hmm. That's to me pretty perfect because it's – it's warm enough that you can get away with mm-hmm. uh, like a short sleeve shirt, but if you wanted to wear jeans or something, you're still comfortable. You're not overheated. Um, and if it's cloudy, maybe you won't, you know, right. run the risk of getting a sunburn quite as badly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. We do have ponchos just in case. I have my Mickey ponchos that I always uh-huh. pack with me. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Do you have an umbrella as well or are you a purely poncho girl? I just do the poncho. I don't really like carrying an umbrella around. (laughs) Yeah. I usually prefer umbrella, but lately I've had some really rainy days in Disney and have started putting a poncho in my bag as well because when it's raining sideways, there's not much an umbrella can do. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay. Anything else that you're looking forward to to, or that you wanted to share about about your trip or about anything uh, related to your company? Uh, Yeah. So just with our, our company, uh, again, this is a business trip just to get more content um, as far as posting on social media um, and mm-hmm. trying to get our name out there. But we're just really excited for our future because we have lots of creative designs that are um, in the works and we've had great success already with our, our buyers and we have recent buyers who are still um, being committed and we appreciate the support there. But we're we're really excited for our ride tattoo that's coming up. Um, what's difficult mm-hmm. is we don't want to we don't want to cross any lines where uh, we use any designs that are trademarked. So everything is hand drawn. It's all original creations, um, mm-hmm. and that's the challenging part about the ride because when you think of a ride, you picture exactly how it looks like, but mm-hmm. you have to create it in a way where the buyer gets the idea and knows what you're talking about, but you're not using Disney logos. So. It's, right. it's really it's really cool to see it come to life and we're just excited for it to be uh, available for everyone. And we're also doing a kid version and an adult version. Um, the kid tattoo oh. will be more catered towards the younger children. So for the younger mm-hmm. rides, uh, because obviously, you know, my children are two, they're two and one right now, but mm-hmm. I have a lot of cousins that are, you know, eight, nine, ten, and they're already going on all the mm-hmm. bigger kid rides. So even though it, it's a... Mm-hmm quote unquote adult tattoo. It's it's more the general tattoo that will have all the thrill rides um, and mm-hmm. all those target ones. And you know, you also have to pick the the top rides because you can't fit all the rides on your arm with a tattoo. Uh, but we're I trying mean, to fit try. the best. <laughs> I guess you could, right? Yeah, you could. <laughs> then it won't be you aesthetically could multiple pleasing, though. tattoos all over your arm. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, well that's exciting. And I know, you know, uh, young younger kids tend to love using temporary tattoos as it is, but they also, mm-hmm. you know, I can see them really getting into checking off all the boxes and, you know, indicating what they've done and what they have left to do. So that's really cool. Um, I'm excited for that one. I wish I'd had it this past week when I was there right. with my little nephews. Yeah. They would have really gotten into that. Well, Thank you so much for sharing all the details of your upcoming trip. And we can't wait to hear how it all goes. And I can't wait to share um, your information with listeners. So uh, listeners, you can look in the show notes. I'll have all of the, the links and hopefully we'll have some photos from your trip that will show off all of your your wonderful products there so that people can can take a look at that and order for themselves. Um, but I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today and we will talk again very soon after your trip. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you, Megan, for joining me on the podcast. Listeners, the post trip report is up and ready now. So what are you waiting for? Until next time, keep daydreaming about where you long to be. (laughs) 